Welcome back to Starfield. So we have to go here to the research lab and we need to research um let's see where it's at. Yeah, performance enhancement one. I've never done this before. What is this? Oh, okay, you have to input, okay, I see. And put argon there. Tetrafluorides plus two. Metabolic agent. This is progress overflow will be distributed through other aspects of the project. Okay, the metabolic agent, which we got. The guy gave us metabolic agent. Okay, research project performance enhancement one has been completed. New research projects unlocked. Performance enhancement 2. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we've never done this before. <laughs> this is literally the first time I've done it. And we're almost at 100 episodes. <laughs> Missing requirements. Okay, we need chemistry rank 1. Okay. Medical treatment. We can do this one maybe. Do that. Amino acids plus 2. Aluminum plus 2. Okay, medical research project medical treatment one has been completed. All right. Need chemistry rank one. Okay. Ah, Earth cuisine one has been completed. Fiber. I gotta tell you, land is the best. Come on, your secret's safe with me. What are the secret ingredients? Okay, research project beverage land. development one has been complete. Okay, beverage two complete. Okay, research project mixology level one. Okay, you need the skills. I get it now. Yeah, I see how it works. Adaptive frames, which I have in storage. Okay, research manufacturing one complete. Decoration one has been completed. Okay, helmet mods one complete. Ok, 
Okay, barrel mods one complete. Okay, stock mods one complete. Those are mods one complete as well. So I guess all we can complete for now. Space suit design need to get in order to get that. Alright, that's all we could do for now. Soon, soon the Aurora will Sure you don't want some extra plan for the road? Soon the Aurora will Sure you don't want some Okay. Um let's see. Where's that quest at? We got so many damn quests. It's insane. Alright, we need a platform job at Xenofresh. Okay. Our uh, quests were bugged in the last episode. I couldn't, it wouldn't track properly. It's still tracking the damn boot. And a lot of people have had that same issue on Reddit. So I'm not the only one, so. Pick up a coffee at Terror Brew. I already did that. Ugh, man. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. I know we didn't do this yet because that's right, I had to talk to her again and I didn't. Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? <laughs> I never saw it coming. Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon? They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Alright, so now I guess we'll go, del we'll go deliver that coffee then. Sorry, what? Yep, we gotta talk to Imogen. Alright, I'll go do that. That's fine. We can get a job at Xenopress later. Jetpacking around all over the place. Oh yeah. Get out the way. Can we still stuff here now that we're part of this group? How can I help? Nope. Still considered stealing, even though we work for the group. Let me have all this stuff for free, damn it. Uh Operations, I guess. I don't remember which one we're supposed to go to. I think operations, but I could be wrong. Nope, I think I picked the right spot. They get in there somehow. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. And we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. 
So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. No more coffee errands, but depending on how you look at it, the word errands technically still applies. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, they would take away our edge. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Well, don't just stand there. My job is to oversee the field operatives such as yourself. I get the sad job of sorting through the files that our technicians have put together, so I can prioritize them according to departmental needs. Finally, I assign them to the operative most suited. Tomo Higashi was a technician here for years. He desperately wanted to be an operative. The truth is, he was getting overzealous in proving himself. He started writing up his own theories as facts and submitting them in his reports. It was only a matter of time before one of those theories proved wrong, and once we launched an investigation, it was all over for him. Tomo's appearance was an interesting coincidence. I can see how it may have looked like a test of some sort, but sadly, no. We had nothing to do with that, besides initially firing him. I doubt he deserved to be fired. Let's be real. Make it quick. I have a deadline. These corporations are scummy. They just let people go and Don't fire them for basically no reason a lot of times. That's, that's how it is a lot of times. People get laid off or fired, fired, whatever you want to call it. Um, with just like that, out of the blue, you know, like, and. It's just by a soulless corporation that doesn't care, you know? Like, they could care less if that person's on the streets after they get fired. Which could happen to a lot of people who get fired, you know? They might not be able to find another job, and then where are they going to go? They're going to be on the streets. So I hate greedy corporations and shit. It pisses me off. And I get that you kind of have to be a little bit greedy when when running a business and everything because you got to make money got to be able to support your employees but i don't know i just it just pisses me off when people lose their job this is me but let's talk to the people around here these soulless people here talk to them one by one Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. For the past five years, tranquility is a recent acquisition and we've only just begun to develop the brand. You may have seen how several vendors carry the product now.
Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. Yes, mistakes are often costly and involve substantial cleanup, both literally and figuratively. Law enforcement, witnesses, evidence, everything has its cost. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Where's Imogene? This meeting needs to start. Ah, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Clean up, of course. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together. And I get the pleasure of making sure those connections are never made. Or, if they are, handling the fallout. Yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Remember, be careful out there for everyone's sake. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative Witnesses getting arrested are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. For one, our connections with Bayou automatically grant us a slight connection with the Rangers. He has some amount of influence with his seat on the Council of Governors. But our strongest connection is local, with Ranger Price. He's the Free Star Ranger stationed here on Neon, and much to my dismay, my son. He could have been an amazing lawyer or businessman. But instead, he's chosen to waste his talents to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. Administrator Bayou runs Neon and is on the Free Star Collective's Council of Governors. We have a long-standing symbiotic relationship due to the contributions that Ryujin Tower brings to Neon. Let's hope your best is good enough. This coffee isn't helping my mood. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. I have the glorious job of keeping all the departments supplied with exactly what they need. 
Anything from rare materials for R&D to Slade Sands design software for marketing. You could say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Yeah, it's always nice to put names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Well, neuroamps for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Okay, that dude seemed a little less corporate than the other three. And that one lady over there... <laughs> Uh, let's just say I'm not too fond of her. Alright, let's talk to Emma Jean here. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Project we're working on from Isalzel? What do you do? Don't mention that out here. I'm glad you feel that way. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Think of it as a lesson that Keltcorp gets to learn the hard way. That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Can we steal from them now that we're part of their group? <laughs> Let me save it and find out. I suppose that is ours now, eh? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. You can't steal from your own group. Okay. Sure. Good to know. Figured since we were part of their group, we could steal from them. But nope, that's not how it works. Oh well. As technicians, we handle threat and force. Okay. I probably won't do that one in this episode. Uh Look 
beginnings and ends. I warn people that some. On the berry meal, what the hell? I don't know what the hell that's all about. Go talk to Briggs. Man. Let's tell me to apply. The damn quest shit is bugged in this game. Watch. Even if I do this one. Apply for a job. It is really damn annoying, man. Well, I pretty much know where to go, but it's still damn annoying. I need to go to the Madame... S s whatever, whatever the hell the place is called. But it's still f insanely annoying because I want to be able to track the right quest, but it's been bugged. Like, really badly. To the point where now I gotta find where the damn place is at, even though it would take normally take me to it. I think Madam the Madam place is in the underbelly, right? Or no, it's in um It's in episode, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't freaking know anymore. I'm just frustrated with it. It's starting to get, starting to get really annoying. They need to fix their quest shit. Or else I'm just gonna do every quest that it, sh whenever it shows up, whatever quest shows up, I have to do. Well, there's chunks, so the madam. No, this isn't the madam place. Oh man, I'm so freaking frustrated with this. Because that means I have to find every place without getting any help of where to go. I don't remember where the places are. I gotta look it up. I gotta look up a map, guys. I'm sorry, but... I'm really sorry, guys. I... I wouldn't have to do this if I could find, if they would guide me to the right freaking quest.
Hold on. <sighs> I'm trying to look it up. Hold on. Oh, she's on the other side. Her place is on the other side. So I can go here and then just go across. Oh, man. So annoyed. Sleep rates for that. Let's see, I gotta find out where she's at. Right, there's the grab and go. Come on. Okay, she's on the other side. Down this way. Her place, anyway. There it is. And we're gonna be able to find Briggs. Briggs, we'll also be able to give the Aurora a ball to the sky. Damn ears have been ringing so loud, I can't even hear the beat anymore. Okay, you can have the slate. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. That's the lounge and forica, blah, blah, blah. This place is where it's at. All right, we need to go to the Astral Lounge to return that, but let's go to Briggs first since we completed that quest for Briggs. If a disciple spot, do what it takes to survive. You're no use to anyone dead. So, stealth was a no-go, but... <laughs> shit. You took all of them out. The Strikers can use that. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a hatchet for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. Strikers, look out for the run. So you're part of the gang now, huh? Welcome, then. Don't be too put out if it takes a while for the hooligans to warm up to you. They ain't big on outsiders. Really? They are? Son of a bitch. So apparently it's just me they had a problem with. I mean, I wasn't at my best, but still. Really classy.
Definitely. I got your back now, new fish. I used to be a trader. Had a top-of-the-line tayo, a flush bank account. I was at the top of my game. Then one really epic crash at the Astral Lounge, and poof, gone. Bye-bye. Woke up in the gutter, and I've been trying to crawl out ever since. The whole damn system is rigged. They rope you into the lounge and just suck your credits dry. Then, when you got nothing, nothing, you're just another junkie in Epside. No way to make credits and get out. If it weren't for the strikers, well, you get the picture. I wish I never even heard of Neon. <sighs> Damn, I just suck at being the welcoming committee. You need something? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> Man, when you're tripping Aurora, it's like nothing else. But it can eat you up. Stay clear, kid. Trust me on it. I have a few hustles of my own. Plus, I'm not bad at a bit of the stand and deliver. Haven't had to end too many people. Yet. <laughs> Times are bad now, though. See you later. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Andrea has lost more than any of us. She used to be a pilot, had a ship, a life, everything. Now she walks the hard road of staying clean. Leaves her in a bad mood, pretty much always. Andrea does what she has to. Respect that. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. Oh yes, every day a different struggle. To stay alive, to stay good in the head. But the Strikers and Briggs took me in, gave me a family. I will do anything to protect them. And I mean anything. <laughs> oh, you are focused. Good. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood, but I say make the disciples bleed at every chance. Here are three locations. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. The disciples will pay. A lot With of the signs interest. are high up. Be careful up there. The strikers steal all sorts of things. I handle the stash. Not sure why me, although I don't think anyone would trust Vogel or Andrea to do it. Many don't. You can find corpses anywhere. No one notices anymore. And the lucky ones, they have to sell themselves, their soul, beliefs, anything and everything. There is no hope here. Only the struggle. Of course. Alright, so they... Ooh, got a bunch of weapons here. Assassin's Refined Rattler, Barrow Knife, Big Bang. Boosted Refined Sidestar. Oh, Magpulse, that's a new weapon. That's that one dude's outfit. What 
neon nightlife outfit. That's kind of cool. Jumpsuit. Always keep your eyes open. I think you're gonna fit in well, really well. I think you're gonna fit in well. Bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, is this this person too? A lot of the signs are high up. Be careful. So you're part of the team now. <laughs> All right, not bad. Briggs may be in charge, but know that I'm his second. Just stay on my good side, right? That's right. Friendship. Family. You're gonna do great here. Not going to lie. You've come to us during a shit time. It wasn't that long ago that we held our own against the disciples. Now we're just hiding behind our mother's skirt. We need to do something. Ah, <sighs> well. Did you want something? Serious goddamn military hardware. How can a knife compare to a fully auto Grendel, right? I mean, before then, we gave as good as we got. But all of those bastards are armed. And we tried to make a stand. And after the funerals, we hunkered down. Everything was pretty fine until a couple years ago. They had their side of town, we had ours. I mean, we'd have misunderstandings, but Briggs always sorted things out. Then one day, the disciples wanted all of Ebside. It's been blood and knives ever since. Good talk. All right, guys. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you, guys. Can I get you something? For watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later. Strikers, look out.